blessing CEO and easy. Find dirty on social media. Somebody call 911. My correct, correct people, them. This wahala between blessing and IVD, where we say two of them, they don't settle them. The thing don't degenerate, oh. It don't get branches. Hey, my correct, correct people, them. This matter what they tell when I so upon say IVD don't apologize to blessing, blessing say apology accepted. Or some of you now we no follow this video from the beginning. Blessing come out. Say so IVD tell her say they owe the video. IVD say no tell blessing anything. Say the video is not owing him a dime. Nine blessing come they bring out evidence. We call test say indeed the video been the owe IVD. But they don't pay him. My correct, correct people, they no be smart, you know. So they think no consider well. For her fellow therapist, Bele, easy. Now easy, can they tell say why blessing will bring out confidential information where her clients give him, come outside. He say no, a therapist is not supposed to do that. My correct, correct people, them now, wow. This one I won't fight away and they even fear the fight because these two women, hey, 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 ooh, I beg, oh, make my internet, what they get my cover, cover, no con cash fire, oh, I beg, oh, I beg, oh, easy, ah, blessing, ah, I they beg, I they beg, I they beg, hey, now easy, can't do video, on the talk, they explain why blessing CEO no supposed to do what she do. Because waiting, IVD tell him na confidential something. And blessing be don't come out, come say, IVD na her client. So why come out to expose your client? Na easy, quite explain, finish, talk her own way, they have a level, and no say she might she no be easy person. Come give some explanation where no she don't well for blessing, Bele. Nine blessing to come out, come answer easy. <laughs> easy, come out, come answer blessing again. <laughs> the fight is just a longing, a longing, a longing. This is just the part one, my correct, correct people. Them more listen to waiting easy talk before blessing come outside. Now, wahala. <laughs> Somebody call 911. Hey, all right, so more listen to easy. Right, cloud chaser come out attacking very dark man. Say the video they owe people money. Why you not go um you know call the video out? The video they owe IVD money four point something million or so, right? Good. And then uh, IVD come go right. Say the video not they owe him money. Oh. Instead of cloud chaser to just rest, cloud chaser come put out a post. Say she you won't disgrace your papa. Okay now, right? So yesterday, they posted, she posted a voice note of IVD telling her, allegedly, that Davido is owing him money. He only paid four million and the money is not four million. She put that in public. See my problem. I understand you are a self-proclaimed relationship therapist. Because if you are a certified relationship therapist, you sign a no disclosure form. In no circumstance should you disclose anything, anything at all of your client to the public. In no, listen, in no circumstance, except the client is in danger to himself or herself or to the public or anybody around him do you understand me and you don't come out in public and tell the public what do you do you tell the third party body the internal body that works within right which is the police the hospital the social services do you understand me that's the only time you give out any information. You do not give out information of the client to defend your truth. No. No. You use your mouth, talk and they not believe you. That is it. You don't even have right to say, 
They told me this. I know you are not a certified relationship expert or relationship therapist. But know this. You break the code of relationship therapist certified ones. You break the code. In no circumstance should you. See, I don't care if they come at if you come out and insult me, cause my papa, cause my mama, whatever you say to me, remain with me. Because why? I sign a no disclosure. You feel me? Except you are in danger to me. If you are endangering to me, you want to danger me, you want to do me something, I go to the police. I report you to the authorities. I don't come to the public and say, she tell me this about her marriage. She said me this about her relationship. You cannot disclose that. You can chase your cloud with anything at all. Come up with anything that comes from your head. But you see anything a customer, a client, a, a patient told you, you cannot disclose it. Like, which paper will not they sign for Nigeria to say I'm a certified sex relationship therapist? And then you disclose information given to you by your client. I don't understand that. Who are you? I think these are people pay you to talk to you. You're not a certified relationship expert. They pay you to enjoy your company and talk to you. Like a shower. You understand me? You can carry a shower overnight and pay a shower. No prick involved, no total involved, nothing involved, no police shed. You just talk to them. Can you wait? Don't pay. Tell the one before. Say talk to a shower. Say I a stripper. Oh yeah, come and stay with me. Make her talk overnight. And they talk for like three hours. He pay two thousand or five thousand dollars or how many dollars he pay. The stripper go away. You understand me? I think that's what you're doing. You're not a certified. And it's very disgraceful what you did. You never share information of client. In no circumstance should you give their voice what they said to you in confidential, to the secret, to the public. Who does that? Who don't who know what the people don't tell you about their relationship and marriage and life? If you know they're in danger to the public, go and tell the police. Go to the, 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 the people waiting for the take treatment. You tell them. You never disclose that information. Oh gosh, I'm ashamed of you, honestly. After easy talk, nine blessing CEO to come out too. Come talk, come they give easy. I want to, I want to, I want to. Hi, Wahala. Blessing first start peacefully. I say, ah. Thank God, though, because me have been taught to fear like this. Because even when I watch that easy video, my mind tell me say blessing go come for her. So blessing come first, take her in a peaceful way. Later she go enter. Hey, <laughs> all right, more wash. Statements where she talk say, if you see my nyash on top of freak, she's known for prick content. I think her name is Lizzie, but I cannot pronounce her surname. Um, I used to be her fan because her content was quite interesting, you know. She was very vulgar and very blunt. But recently, since I am very dark man, I've been having our banter. She decided to play mother hen onto she be a do, very dark man I do. She's been saying a lot of shit, and people have been sending me the video. I've been ignoring because. I was her fan. I used to watch her video. I follow her on TikTok because her contents are quite interesting. So recently, I noticed say she can't begin to sit down in front of plenty, plenty book. Can't talk, say she be a relationship therapist. So I'm going to talk to you as a baby relationship therapist. Because um, like you said, you don't know if I'm licensed. So I'm glad that you don't even know what I have. The reason why I'm not responding to you in an aggressive way or an abusive ways because you are outside the country so you can just run your mouth and enjoy yourself because you are far but i want to make you understand something if you are playing mommy for very dark dirty boy i think a mother should be able to give her son good advice you are mama prick we know you for prick even you sang a song let me get the prick let me get the prick the song no blue even though say we try to help you. The song is still selling. You can go and 
play the song. Let me give you small promotion. She sang a song. Let me get the prick. Let me get the prick. Now my prick. So it's so obvious that you people are known for prick. Since you are a professional in prick, you talk to people about prick and toto. How come your son, very dark man, did not blow with his prick? Very dark man sold his entire prick and he did not blow. So mama prick and mama very dark man, I would advise you to go to very dark man and educate him the way you educate your followers about prick. Let's see if he's going to make out something from his prick. Because you cannot be mama prick and be supporting very dark man with prick, yet he cannot use the prick. That means you're not a good mother. Teach him well. At least let us use very dark man as an example. Let him blow with prick so that people can see the visibility of your teaching. Because if very dark man failed in selling prick, then you are not good with prick. You are just a noise maker. You also said something about privacy. That was what caught my attention. If Blessing see you as a relationship therapist, she cannot keep secrets. Lizzie, shut up. Like I said, I don't want to disrespect you because you are somebody I have liked your content. So I will talk to you with so much respect. In as much as you've been disregarding me. And the reason why I don't want to talk to you with disrespect is because you claim you're a relationship therapist. So I want to give you that respect as a junior colleague. Right? Let me tell you. When people walk up to you and pay you, talk to you, fill a form, you do not have the right to speak out whatever they tell you. That is privacy. That is therapy. It's like <clears throat> meeting a doctor in the plane. The man introduces himself to you. Hey, I'm Dr. Donald. And you say, I am Lizzie. I school in the University of Calabar. And you say, oh, I'm a medical doctor, a gynecologist. You guys start to gist in the plane and you start to talk to the doctor because you hear he's a gynecologist. Start to tell him that there was this relationship you had. You had three abortions. You gisted and you guys gisted. Exchange number. Four days later or one week later, you see this doctor on a live or granted an interview. And the doctor used your story. There was a girl I met in the plane that had had abortions for her boyfriend. I advised her in the plane. He can't even call your name. Do you think you have the right to sue the doctor? You can't. Because what the both of you had was a conversation. It wasn't district. The only time you can sue the doctor is when you walk into a hospital, get your card, pay for your consultation, talk to a doctor officially, and that doctor come and talk about what you told him in the hospital or what is in your card. That's when you can sue. That's why I call you a baby therapist. There's a difference between gist, gossip, and private conversation. When it comes to therapy, if you have not visited a therapy officially, fill the form and documented, you are gisting with the therapist. I can use what you gisted me to do content. Even your pastors, all the things you tell your pastors during counseling, they use it to preach. So many pastors don't even do counseling now. They will call you to the pulpit and be asking you, is your husband good in bed? Have you not seen different pastors? Where married women will be confessing, my husband is not good in bed, my husband climbed me. Why did you not say they should sue the pastor? Confidentiality is when there is something documented. Baby, Lizzie, you are a baby therapist. If there is no document, there is no confidentiality. That's the reason why when you want to do business with people, you sign. Anything that you did not sign, na gist, na talk. When you get to the law court, what you can use to sue is signature. If you talk with somebody verbally, now talk. That's the reason why relationship cannot hold water. Marriage holds water more than relationship because when you get married, 
it is documented. That's why you go to the court and you sign. It's a statutory marriage. That's the reason why when you want to divorce, the man can give you something. Customary one, the one where they pay bride price, nobody will give you anything. The one that you people carry belly, nobody will give you anything. So Lizzie, can you shut up your gutter mouth? I know you want to trend. You can trend with very dark, dirty people, but not with me. Because when it comes to intellect, I have listened to you. You can't stand me. So when you say I review the secret, no. IVD is my client. Everything he told me in confidence can never come out. Can never come out. I even came out openly to say IVD is my client. I came out and wrote that IVD, I'm his therapist. And I wrote that because at that point in time, he was in the police station and he was being interrogated by the police. His in-laws were putting out different narrative about him. Somebody needed to speak up for him because at that point in time, he didn't even have access to his phone. They were tarnishing his image. I came out and said I was his therapist and spoke on his behalf because at that point, he wasn't available. Normally, I have dealt with a lot of celebrities that you and I know. You don't even know that I am their therapist. I am behind them. Unfortunately, maybe because I came out openly to say I was IVD's therapist, a lot of people misinterpreted it for him being my boyfriend and me sleeping with him. The same you people are the ones saying, oh, bless you, why will you come and reveal his secrets? What I said about IVD was not a secret. IVD, friends and family, anybody close to him knew what transpired between him and his friend. It wasn't something he hid. It wasn't something he said privately. It was something he told everybody. He has been in my office and he has made different conversations to people who is close to the other party to beg him to give him his money. Yes. So it wasn't a secret. He was even appealing. He has called so many people close to the person. I beg, beg, I'm not making, give me my money. I need money. I did broke. So it was not a secret. It was not a secret. I have IVD secret and I will never put it out there. The only time I can put out a secret is when the court calls me or there is a need for me to come and tender any witness. So Lizzie, Baby therapist, just because say you don't they pack book, they sit down beside book, doesn't mean that you should open your mouth and say anything. Respect is reciprocal. The next time I will come for you, I will be brutal. You think say you get bad mouth, or you think say it's a bit wide your mouth. Respect yourself. One love. I still love your content, but no carry me play. I correct, correct people, them this fighting never finish. Oh, but me I go drop my kelokon for here. As it be so na, me a de fie. Hey! Una si de fighti between Yeezy and Sarah Martins. Na so me Sarah Martins fie o. Sarah Martins begin to de beg o. Na na blessing CEO. Hey! Una no se blessing CEO ma kuku be fearless. Ha! Eh, 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 eh. I say, somebody call 911. Mm, I the talk and now when I just say na play, somebody call nine one one. Hey, wahila 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 wahila. This one a patrono, the patu brutish, i brutish. <laughs> oh, my correct correct people them. I bet me wanna tell me waiting wanna think about this very materials like this. We will see fans reaction though. We will see fans reaction for the part two. When I still say this one don't already long reach. Mm -hmm. We will see fans reaction for the part two. This one don't already long. I will not say my video. No, they long reach like this. This is about 19 minutes something. So it don't reach time for me to drop. Michael Ocon. All right, so my correct, correct people them. I will drop my Michael Ocon for here. Una thank you so much for watching. Una stay beautiful. Una bye.